Hello you guys, this is Example and today I'm going to bring to you a tutorial on how to separate your blaze. I've been having a heap of trouble in the nether um, at the moment. I'm trying to build a wither skeleton farm but I've got blazes everywhere, blazes! So um, I'm trying to work out how to separate them and I've come up with a way. So I want to give you a quick demonstration or a tutorial on how to build a blaze separator. So let's head on through to the nether. Whoop. And here we are. Now this fortress isn't ideal, but I just wanted to be in the actual environment to build it here. Um, I'm not going to build it. I'm not going to build a, a full-on mob trap because no, 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 no. I'm only here to demonstrate how to build the separator. But I wanted to build it somewhere near a fortress in the Nether because it's fun. So let's find a spot. Let's see. Well, we could just do it over here. Okay, so. What we need to do is we need to build a um, double piston extender slash sorting mechanism. I don't know what I'm going to call this thing. But we've got to start somewhere, right? So let's put down uh, a couple of hoppers. Let's see. Go to redstone, grab some hoppers. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Don't need that. Okay. Um, so the deal here is that we need to um, put two hoppers facing into each other. Like this. Bam. Okay, and this is the basis of our um, clock, which is going to push the blazers into the little, the little pen. Okay, next step, uh, we need um, a redstone block, and we're going to stick that right there. Um, sticky piston, sticky piston. Okay, now, the sticky piston needs to go up, let's see, oh, it needs to go up there. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm not um, very technically minded when it comes to this sort of stuff, but this is what we need to do. So, there we go. And that piston is going to control the opening and shutting of this valve. And we need to put an item in here. Let's throw a hopper in, just to be ironic. Uh, okay, so that's that bit done. Now, um, you, you're going to have to work out where you're going to start building this, because um, in my world, I've got a um, the main drop for my... Um, mobs is right here in the center of this particular um, kind of arm of the nether fortress and um, yeah so it's kind of um, the, the, I mean the center of this is going to be over here somewhere so you need to think about that when you're building I'm just building it here just randomly in a space okay so we need some building blocks let's choose lime green clay block all right so let's grab some um, some building materials here. I haven't done very well at preparing this. I haven't told you what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Okay. Comparator. Um, coming out of the hoppers. That's going to tell us if there is a signal coming through. At the moment there is. So the item is going backwards and forwards. Flashing our comparator on and off. Um, which is actually going to be kind of annoying. So let's build the part which switches this off first. So let's see. Um... We need to build um, out here something like this. Uh, it doesn't have to be a block here. In fact, I don't think we need. We should have a block there. Okay, and this redstone torch is going to turn this piston on, push this redstone block down, and stop everything from moving. That's what we want. So that's our switch, you might say. Okay, now next step is we need to run this power into our pistons. Uh, let's see. Um, power going into this block. Uh, redstone torch, like this. Another block on top of that redstone torch. Uh, another redstone torch on the front of that block. And now we can start thinking about placing some pistons, but we need to put a block here. And now our pistons start to go on. So put a piston here, a piston here, and one in front. Okay, this is the basis of a double piston extender. And it's a little bit different from what you've seen. Um, I'm using a little trick here with um, how everything is sort of uh, working with the redstone onto pistons. Uh, let's see, let's put a, let's use a coal block for our our switch here. This is going to be another switch. So this block is going to be a switch for us, which is going to power the top piston, which is kind of a little bit ingenious, I have to say. Uh, okay. Now, um, this is the this is the main drop. So this here, this particular part of 
the build is this is our main shoot so let's say um, our mobs are falling down oops I can't use that there our mobs are going to fall down our mob trap so up here somewhere we've got we've got our um, drop shoot for our mobs and this is it goes all the way along here like this say you are going to make it even no and add some more of these blocks in there we go so our mobs are going to fall down here so this is where they're falling from so they're getting pushed off by pistons or whatever method you've got and they're going to fall down like this. ah okay all right that's it that's where that that's the main drop there now um i want my skeletons to fall down here i want the pigmen to fall down here but i don't want any blaze so what i want the blaze to do is fall down this chute so i can separate them from the other mobs and that's what our goal is in this particular build okay so now we've got some kind of structure let's move on to building some more so we want a redstone torch right here um, and now this is to open this other piston uh, which is needed there are other ways to do this I came up with like a few designs um, but this was the most compact I could do in the short period of time I was building this thing okay now we're pretty much nearly done um, on the other side here this is our um, collection side I want to put some blocks all the way up there and we need some tripwire hooks and some string let's grab some string um, what can I afford to ditch okay we'll ditch that all right this is going to be what controls the whole thing um, so when the blazers come down they're going to or any mob comes down they're going to hit this tripwire and it's going to trigger the system oh yeah okay there we go right now that should actually do something let's see oh there we go and so there's a double piston extension now you might have seen that what i'm going to do is i'm going to place do, 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 do. okay stairs um i need some stairs let's put some it's a really shame that you can't do clay block stairs that would be absolutely awesome um what should i use instead i'll just use another brick okay let's do that Okay, some stairs. So the stairs actually, you can place stairs here without it actually interfering with the tripwire, which is interesting. Um, okay, so what I want to do is let's put a switch on this block so it's continually on. Um, so it's going to act like there's going to be a mob stuck in the string. Okay, there we go. So here you can see the double piston extension. Uh, I need another. I need to put another block here. Right there we go. Okay. So now when the mob falls down, they're going to fall into here, they're going to get pushed onto this block and then pushed down this hole. Now, um, that is pretty much it. This is it. So let's try it out quickly. Um, I'm going to knock this out for a bit so we can see what's going on. Let's find a, a spawn egg for the blaze. Alright. And also skeleton. So we've got the two different kinds of mobs here. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's turn the switch. Let's get rid of that switch so it's off, and we can use the system as if we were in our in our spawner. So let's throw in a skeleton. See what happens. Oh, we're on peaceful. Let's put on hard. Done. Done. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Skeleton missed. <laughs> Falls through the system without any problem at all. All right, so the skeletons drop down there. Let's try a blaze. Okay, here we go, blaze. And the blazes get pushed into this section here. That's perfect. Okay, so um, this is also a tileable system, so we can build these next to each other and not get interfere, um, which is really good. So I can build this as far this way as I want and as far that way as I like, and that's exactly what I want to do. Um, so let's throw let's throw a few things at it at once. So there's a couple of blaze going down at once. Let's throw in a skeleton and a blaze. Let's throw in a blaze. Oops, I missed that one. That guy went down the side. A blaze and a skeleton. And as you can see, they're all pretty much going into the exact slots that we want them to go on. So there's our separator. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty easy to build. It is quite resource intensive, but uh, this is it fully working. It's pretty much 100% um, working, 100% sorting, 
Uh, on the odd occasion, a blaze will get stuck and get pulled back in, uh, but that's okay, that's expected. If you really wanted to go, and this is the other, other um, exception here, sometimes the blaze don't hold the, um, the tripwire down long enough, and they get stuck there, but the next mob that falls down will have them both get pushed down. Now, I did have this working with a different um, type of system where the tripwire was down one block lower, so if a blaze got stuck right there, um, it would continually fire this um, piston and get knocked off eventually. But um, I seem to have found a red, uh, redstone bug which allowed me to do something a little bit probably that I shouldn't and uh, I couldn't use that because when I switched um, different directions it wouldn't work anymore. So I had to switch to this this design and it's working 100% at the moment. As you can see um, these mobs are falling too fast and the pistons don't push them in but these blazers which float down get caught up by the pistons and push down there. There we go that's it this is an example you've been watching a tutorial on how to build a blaze separator. I hope you've enjoyed it it's been pretty quick um, pretty easy to build and pretty much all you need to do now is copy this pattern and you can build as many of these out this way and as many as that way out that way as you like and you've got yourself a blaze and skeleton separator there you go i'll catch you next time later